What is going on, everybody? Welcome back to another segment of Geek Corner, presented by the Coach Steve Show podcast, a segment of the Coach Steve Show podcast. This is Geek Corner, where uh, Logan will hop on a few times from time to time, but this is just be, um, geared towards movies and TV shows to try to give a different segment from the sports side of things on the Coach Steve Show. So this is Geek Corner. Uh, Logan is my entertainment expert, so he'll hop on from time to time. Uh, go check out his podcast, and no one asks his podcast. He is, you know, busy with that, so he'll hop on from time to time when we get some news uh, and different things. Um, until then, I hop on and get my thoughts out from time to time on different movies and TV shows, and everything like that. So far, it's been Marvel, but we might gear off into different things that entertain us or different things worth talking about. Maybe it's in the DC world, but so far, it's been Marvel. So we're gonna dive right in. I did an episode of talking about Doctor Strange 2 and the Multiverse of Madness trailer. But of course, with every trailer and in a movie like this, and ever since WandaVision has come out and leading up into, you know, we're talking about the multiverse and different opportunities. So what are the theories? So we're going to dive right in. You know, we got the Doctor Strange 2 trailer. It's awesome. We talked about it. Um, but there's still a lot of questions after the trailer and everything else. So we got to let the rumors and conspiracy theories begin. So first thing, Marvel is pretty good at showing us things in trailers and then not having them in the movie. For example, uh, Wong and Spider-Man No Way Home, in the trailer we get, you know, don't cast that spell, and Strange goes, fine, I won't, gives him the little wink, you know, wink, and then in the movie we don't get that, you get Wong saying, just leave me out of it. So why in the Doctor Strange 2 trailer do we get a Wong quote from the Spider-Man trailer where he, at the beginning we're overcast and it says, um... Don't cast that spell. It's too dangerous. And then, you know, Strange will continue to talk. Um, was this just because they liked the quotes? They want to put it in there. Was it just for the effect? Um, you know, maybe when they made this Doctor Strange 2 trailer, which is possible when they were making it, they were keeping um, that in there. Uh, they were... Maybe they thought they were going to use it in the movie. And when they made the Doctor Strange 2 trailer, that they said, okay, we're going to use it. Well, um you know, they decide to cut that part out um, and everything else. Or could they go into the what if time and it got split into two and in one part where it got split. Maybe something happens with Doctor Strange before Spider-Man comes and asks him something. That's why there's snow around. That's why maybe he's acting a little off. I mean, there's other reasons, but maybe this is like the what if where Doctor Strange gets put into two and this part of the timeline, you know, it says, fine, I won't. And it's goes into Strange Supreme or who who knows? Um, was it just for fun? Probably. Um, now, we don't know because reports that Doctor Strange 2 was supposed to be released before Spider-Man. So they had to change the plot of Spider-Man. They had to change the plot of Doctor Strange. And they had to change plots as a couple other things because of the timeline order that these were supposed to come out. Um, and I believe Doctor Strange 2 filming had been shut down quite a few times due to COVID and restrictions. I think they might have been filming overseas. You know, Doctor Strange, or uh, Doctor Strange, my goodness. Benedict Cumberbatch lives over there. Um, so traveling and filming, so it got shut down a couple times. And wherever they were filming, they had to go by the rules of the COVID restrictions. Um, so I don't know if they're going to lead into the what if stuff. Um, I did read a report in a quote, regardless, I don't know if it's true or not, um, that some of the writers and stuff for Doctor Strange 2 were a little frustrated because Doctor Strange, what if episode, um, it shows two Stranges and quote unquote took away from a surprise of seeing, you know, in the trailer where we get Strange Supreme or Evil Strange. They said it took away the surprise and maybe some of the storyline. Um, I mean, I was surprised. I was dead surprised, you know, to see him because even though it wasn't What If, we just thought What If was explaining things of the multiverse and explaining different things that we could expect to see in Doctor Strange 2 um, and all of that. But at the same time, I was surprised. Um, I'm kind of shocked that people, that report came out. Um, but because that was said, whether regardless if it's true or not, could could they do the what if and split this into two? Could this movie kind of show, because it's reportedly the final cut is three hours, a little over three hours, and I'm here for it. I'm here for the three hours. You know, we have where Doctor Strange sees Christine getting married. Uh, maybe he tries to change um, that point in time. You know, maybe that's it because in what if um, 
he uh, sees Christine getting married instead of in the what if where uh, she died in that universe she died and he tried to change that point in time so maybe in this one she met someone during that five years and she you know she fell in love now she's getting married you know and then maybe strange thinks they need a part to be together and everything else so maybe this kind of pushes him to go I gotta change a point in time and this is maybe where you know it was said we're gonna get this is gonna be a celebration of Marvel we're gonna get more Marvel characters than ever before and then any other Avengers movie you know whether that's true or not we'll find out um and so maybe this is what's the point in time does he go and change when she met this person does he go back and even completely change when he loses his hands does he go back and try and change maybe what happened to Thanos who knows maybe that's how Thanos comes back it's reported that he could pop up even though we've seen it in Eternals spoilers um so who knows? Um, then we see our strange, you know, then we see when he's cracking and everything else. Um, then we get a preview when we meet Sorcerer Supreme or the strange Supreme, um, you know, the universe is cracking and all that. Um, so does our strange not do anything, but the doctor um, strange Supreme, does he actually make the decision to do that? So, you know, that part where we get him running out to see the, you know, the world, um, you know, kind of disappearing like we get in What If. Is this kind of him looking around going, what is going on? Um, then he tries to figure it out, and we find out that there is two Stranges. Does Mordor, because in the What If, he was not there. Does he have something to do with this? Um, are we going to get a showdown between all of them? We do get a fight between Mordor and Strange Supreme. Um, so when we meet Evil Strange or Strange Supreme, is he the one from What If? Is he similar to What If and is just completely different? It could be completely different. Um, so is he the one that did something and our Strange absolutely did nothing? Um, and then we get the Wong quote that changed the Spider-Man. Um, and we're going to go back to the Wong quote from Spider-Man. Um, you know, do they show a universe where this actually happens? Does it lead Strange to being split into two? Who knows? Um, and then we get a picture from who is Guardian Strange, and we get a little glimpse of him, this Guardian Strange falling. Now we've learned, the reason why this movie and has so many theories is because of the variants. We learned in Loki that there can be variants of people. You know, that we learned Loki, you're going to have different variants that look like you. You're going to have different variants that don't look like you. And that's what the TVA was about. If there's a variant that doesn't fit with a the timeline. They had to go put that timeline back into what it was. Or if they get out, because different universes have different people. So we've learned what variants are. So this Guardian Strange seems to be a variant. Um, how did he survive the TVA? Um, is he just a guy that can travel through the multiverse? Um, is he going to help our strange fight? It seems like, I mean, guardian strange seems like a person that might be with the new character, American Chavez. Do they help protect the multiverse? Does, does this guardian strange pop up, uh, in his universe? Is he a different role? Does he work for the TVA or did he figure out something's wrong with the TVA? So there's different things rolling around that one. Um, but strange knows that he needs to fight somebody and he'll need Wanda's help. Obviously, um, so I'd be curious to see how that works out with Wanda because she, you know, the last time we saw her, she got told that her powers rival that of the Sorcerer Supreme, which I, now I guess is Wong. Sorry, Wong. But, you know, that's kind of where they're at right now. And Strange, obviously, we all know he's really the true Sorcerer Supreme. Um, but right now it's Wong, and so apparently she's supposed to be the most powerful being. And... So he knows he needs to fight somebody, whether it's Mordor, Strange Supreme, or Evil Strange. Or does he know that she has this magic and they're going to hop through the multiverse? Um, and she understands this. So he's looking for her help as a friend, as an Avenger. Um, now, we'll hop off one for a second. Now it does. Now, how does Loki fit into all of this? You know, because the multiverse, it's been leading up until Spider-Man No Way Home that the multiverse was split because of Wanda. Well, then we got Loki. Well, Loki, it actually, the timeline is actually split off. And it's creating different timelines. But the more we think about it, does this actually crack into a multiverse? Does it actually do that? Or is that strange? Or do they all have something to do with it? Because um, the multiverse, well, actually, the timeline kind of splits. I don't know. Is it creating multiple universes? Um 
when he who remains was killed by um with with loki around and sylvie when they killed him um so was it all dr strange's fault from spider-man no way home does loki have something to do with it because obviously we get a picture of wanda's hand and an orange rectangle that looks like a tva door um so does loki show up does somebody else from the tva show up um is there does do they because we saw in loki where he was on this he was in a spot where there was like no time he saw the time and then he went back through the door well like split him into a different world so in dr strange no way or in dr strange multiverse of madness are we going to start splitting into different timelines are we going to start hopping around to somebody from the tva come to put this timeline back together because it's in a different spot who knows it may have nothing to do with the tva but we get that from wanda now wanda is she going to be a friend or foe because we all know from wandavision she had made this own kind of little world of hers from this magic that she has and so is she going to be a friend or is she going to be an enemy um because then there was a report of maybe a different variant of wanda shows up and that could be who's the villain um you know then we got to get off the Mephisto, you know, rumors. We've had them since Wanda, and people thought Doctor Strange was that from Spider-Man No Way Home. I'm not saying that's not who he is. Um, I do believe it was Strange, not a different Strange in Spider-Man No Way Home. Uh, but we need to get off the Mephisto thing. But somebody, if Wanda does turn into a foe or like an enemy, is somebody messing with her or somebody putting her up to this? Kind of like in WandaVision, it kind of seemed like somebody else was doing it, even though it was her or Agatha. Um so is she going to be a friend or a foe or does she start off helping strange and then something happens in this movie where she figures out she can get her kids or, you know, do they find her kids in this universe? Does she want to keep hopping universes? Um, do they actually have a Dr. Strange Wanda showdown? I would love to see that. Or does she not, is she not really an enemy, but she's not really helping out either. She's kind of like moved on. Like, Hey, the Avengers are gone. We're broken up. I want my family. I want to be here. I don't want to be anything with you guys anymore. It just causes too much pain. So do we get the showdown? Because in Loki, um, you know, he who remains or Kane um, or Khan says that the, there was a multiverse war and that's why they had to have one sacred timeline so they couldn't have this. But since everything's broken, is it going to happen? Is that why Guardian Strange shows up? Was he created or there just to have this? Um, yeah, and we need to stop with the Mephisto stuff. Um, but is somebody controlling Wanda's or darker spells to mess with her mind? Um, do we get Agatha back? You know, she was locked away in that universe. Um, cause Wanda goes, I know where to find you and keeps her there. And so it kind of acts like she knows how to tap back into that. So who knows, you know, I want to see a Dr. Strange Wanda showdown. I want to see a multiverse war. I want to see some of these Marvel characters come back. Cause it was supposed to be this, you know, thing with Marvel. Um, because they did say Bandit Cumberbatch had to reshoot for six straight weeks, which caused a delay in opening of Doctor Strange. Lame. But it was reported that there might be cameos that needed to be shot. Um, so though, did they add more characters? Uh, did he have to film more Doctor Strange scenes? Because um, is he not the current MCU one? Since he has to play probably three characters in Guardian Strange. Um, you know, Strange Supreme or the Evil Strange. Uh, did he have to actually go back and look at all this stuff? Um, because, again, some of the timeline had to change. If you look back, um, Black Widow was going to come out. Uh, then Falcon the Winter Soldier, Eternals, Sang chi And then WandaVision was supposed to come out. And then Doctor Strange was supposed to come out. And then we get Loki. And then What If? So they've had to change in Hawkeye and everything else. So they've had to adapt a little bit um because i don't even think spider-man was supposed to originally on this i think it may not have been come out till later and they moved everything up um so then they've had to change it up and so yeah if you look at the original releases um that's kind of what happened so they have to change a couple things um on what was going on with the development. So um, so since he had to refilm all that and did they do that? And then one rumor that we've seen is, is Tobey Maguire will appear as Spider-Man if it's true? Is it, It's going to have to be linked to Spider-Man No Way Home. Um, but if he is in there, why, why is he there? Is it because when they changed the villains, did it change their timeline and that's why everything's kind of wacky? Does Doctor Strange seek him out? I don't know if Tobey Maguire wants to continue to play Spider-Man. I think he was just okay coming back and doing that. 
I don't know, because people are talking about having him make a new Spider-Man 4. I don't know if he even wants to do that. I don't even know if we need that because he is older. Is it going to be the same? I, I'm okay with Andrew Garfield, but Tobey Maguire, we've gotten his Spider-Mans. We understand his legendary status. You know, if he does a couple cameos here and there, that's probably fine, but I don't know if we need a whole new, whole new movie. Uh, but Tobey Maguire, is he going to reappear as Spider-Man? Is it only going to be a glimpse? Does he help Doctor Strange and just kind of say, does, does Doctor Strange seek him out and they're jumping through multiverses? Who knows? Um, I, I'm okay if he's rumored to be in there. And then we get another rumor that Tony Stark will be there, but it's going to be Tom Cruise, who, you know, originally had the role and then turned it down because he didn't think Marvel was going to be any good. Big mistake. Reappear as Iron Man, and he'll be a different variant. And this is quite possible, and that's why this movie, I think, could possibly be bigger. I don't know if box office number-wise, but I think it's going to be bigger than Spider-Man No Way Home if we start getting these leaks and so they start getting these rumors and people start going. Because if we get a Tom Cruise back as Iron Man, if you get a different guy as Thor, like there's different things. And then this open up the world to X-Men. Are we going to get some X-Men? Are we going to get the original X-Men? Are we going to get Ryan Reynolds in Deadpool um, and everything else? Is this new Strange even a bad guy even? That's another thing to be about. Is he a bad guy? Is he just acting like a bad guy? Is he just, you know, misunderstood? Is that the same guy from What If? Um, and again, you know, this opens up many doors to different universes. Are we going to get some of the characters we got from What If? Are we going to get some of our original X-Men? Are we going to get new X-Men? Then it's rumored for a different variant. Is John Krasinski going to be, and you know, fun, part of the Fantastic Four? Are we going to get all that? So that's why this movie has so many possibilities, so many rumors. We have to do a whole other episode. Um, but thank you guys for watching. This is just some different theories to think about of what we got to get, different reports. Because they had to change the plot, so it's going to be a little different. So, um, thank you guys for watching. Again, this is an episode of Geek Corner, sponsored by or brought to you by the Coach Steve Show podcast. Um, go check out Geek Corner YouTube channel, and also go check out the Coach Steve Show YouTube channel. Like and subscribe, and all that good stuff. Um, stay tuned for different episodes. We'll get Logan back on a few times. Um, I believe this is the next movie coming out because Morbius was delayed in Marvel, so this will be the next Marvel thing that comes out. Um, besides Moon Knight, we got a, a trailer for Moon Knight. We could talk about that later on, too. Um, I thank you guys so much for watching. Um, go find the podcast. It'll be on the Coach Steve Show podcast. Um, you can find it wherever you listen to your podcast. Uh, make sure you like and subscribe. Thank you guys so much for listening, and we will see you guys on the next one.